In this video, we are going to review the surface height anomaly feature available from SiriusXM Marine. To access this feature, you'll need to install a Raymarine SR200 with a compatible Axiom MFD. Once installed, you'll need to call SiriusXM Marine at 855-869-5480 and ask for the fish mapping package. You will also need to ensure your MFD has the most current software from Raymarine. Please visit Raymarine Support Center for software update information. Once these steps are completed, from your Raymarine MFD home screen, you can select Chart. On the next screen, tap the menu icon at the top of the chart screen. From the list on the right, select Mode, and then Fish Mapping. Fish Mapping should now be shown as the mode when the chart menu is selected. Now, in the Fish Mapping menu, note the following. Fishing Recommendations, Fish Mapping Layers, Show Legend. We recommend you keep this on while you familiarize yourself with all the features, and the gear wheel symbol, which represents settings. Next, select the Settings button, and then the Fish Mapping tab at the top. This subscription page allows you to see the time and date information about when each data layer was updated and received. If no timestamp is present, the data has not downloaded. You should leave the system on and check again in a few minutes. Once the times are present, you can return to the Fish Mapping menu. Next, select the Fish Mapping Layers button. You should now see several categories. Select Height Anomaly. Press X to view Height Anomaly on the full screen. This displays locations where sea surface height is above or below the average height in specific areas. Similar to how radar works, satellites transmit microwaves that bounce off the ocean surface, and by measuring the time it takes to return, the sea height is calculated. This information is updated every 24 hours. Upwelling locations are areas of the ocean below the average sea level that indicate where the level is rising. These areas create favorable conditions for attracting bait and game fish as they often bring nutrient-rich water up from below. Conversely, downwelling locations are areas above average sea level where the height is falling. These are often nutrient poor and don't support favorable fishing conditions. With height anomaly turned on, you will see light to dark orange shaded lines and circles. A circle identifies the center of an upwelling or downwelling area. Along these lines will be positive and negative numbers. These numbers represent the difference from the sea surface average height measured in inches or centimeters, depending on your MFD settings. When the legend is turned on, you can see how the shades of orange correspond with positive and negative numbers on the chart. It's best to avoid the center of a circle with positive numbers represented with darker orange lines. This is an area where the sea surface has reached a high point and started falling, which denotes a downwelling. It's also interesting to note that a downwelling produces a clockwise current around the center. In contrast, the center of an upwelling will be a circle with negative numbers, represented with lighter orange lines. In this area, the sea surface height has reached a low point and started to rise, often bringing cooler, nutrient-rich water up from the bottom. An upwelling produces a counterclockwise current. Lastly, where prominent upwellings and downwellings occur close together is referred to as a convergence zone. Finding the line in this area with the number zero near a line with a negative number on one side and a positive number on the other side is ideal. These convergence zones are likely to have increased bait fish activity. For additional information and resources, please visit our fish mapping website at SiriusXM.com forward slash fish mapping. For videos specific to your marine display, please visit our marine video library at SiriusXM.com forward slash marine library. 
please also stay in touch by joining our social media sites. We encourage all of our SiriusXM Marine subscribers to share your comments, including your success stories. Or if you need support, reach out via email at marine.support at SiriusXM.com. Thank you.